What is a master use license? This allows you to use someone's sound recording. So, uh, if you want to use someone's sound recording uh, in a movie, if you want to use someone's sound recording, uh, you know, in any other type of media, video game, advertisement, um, if you want to sample someone's music, you have to get a master use license. Now, remember, in music, a sound recording typically that you hear, um, there are two copyrights that are discrete and they're different. One for the musical work, which is the underlying lyrics or composition. The other is for the sound recording. The sound recording is typically owned by a record label who pays royalties to a recording artist. And the uh, uh, musical work is usually um, owned by a publishing company that pays royalties to songwriters and composers. The songwriter and composer could also be the recording artist or the songwriter and composer could be someone totally different. Again, most pop music is not written or composed by um, the sound recording artists that, that, that we hear. It's usually done by someone else or a team of other people or that artist you hear, the sound recording artist, plus a team of, of people, etc. So a master use license is for film, you know, using someone's sound recording, what you hear. Now the problem is when you use a sound recording, someone's music, or it could be just literally a sound recording of a speech or anything like that, but if, when you use someone else's, someone's music, um, in a film or sample someone's music, whatever, and you get a master use license, that only covers for what you hear. Remember, there's always the underlying composition and lyrics, which you also must license that to. So you need to almost always get two different licenses, okay? Uh, a master use license is negotiated by a record label and um, whoever wants to license it. Uh, typically, there's an upfront free, and this is just random. It's just, you know, I want to sample someone's m music and the record label could tell me 10 G's up front plus 25% of your sales. And then I would, so that would be for the master use. And then I'd need to license it from whoever the fuck wrote it. Um, and even if I don't use any of the lyrics, I still have to, you know, pay for that. <clears throat> so I need to get like the master use for the, the the beats for the music I use, and then I need to clear it on the sound record uh, on the on the publishing side for the, for the lyrics and composition, and they could claim all of my songwriting royalties or whatever. Okay. So the important thing is that you also need to pay some type of mechanical license to the publisher for the uh, for the lyrics and compositions. Okay. Or you need to say if someone uses uh, my music in a movie or a video game or, or whatever, where there's a visual element, where it's synced with a visual element, they'll have to get a master use license for me and then a sync license for the composition and lyrics in my sound recording uh, to be able to sync the sound recording with the visual element. But the sync is actually for the lyricist or composer that I, that's in my sound recording, if, if that makes sense. So sync license, what the fuck is that, right? Uh, anytime you pair a visual element with, with, with um, anything, a song typically, that has uh, lyrics and a composition in it, you have to get a sync license. So again, if I wanna use a song for my documentary, I get a master use license from, uh, from, uh, from the record label, okay, and then I have to get a sync license from whoever is the publishing company who represents the songwriter and the composer. So the sync covers the musical work, the master use covers the sound recording that we hear. The musical work is the composition and lyrics. I just want to really beat that, beat that down to funky town with y'all, okay? Um, again, this is paid to publishers and songwriters and composers. Um, and it allows you to re-record re a composition, um, you know, and pair it with a visual element or just use a recording of it. So like, again, um, maybe I want to use Bob Seger's Good Time Rock and Roll, right? Um, 
And I, I want to do an acoustic version of that song, right? I don't need a master use license because I'm, I'm going to use my own recording, but I need to get a sync license for my cover version recording of that, okay? Um, these licenses last for a set amount of time, and royalties are usually paid up which means that they're not based on sales, not based on streams, not based on none of that. Is, is a company wants to use my song that I wrote in a sound recording for a video game, right? They work out the master use license for the sound recording. They work out a sync license with me or my publisher. My publisher says five years, you know, whatever. If they're still making and selling that video game in five years, which is, which is going to be pretty rare, they will have to extend that license. 